Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest and here are the top stories of the last week. As usually, we bring you news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence. Japanese company have created a 3D printed myoelectric hand called Handy, which is more functional than the prosthetic hands from a decade ago. The greatest benefit of the Handy Hand, however, is the price tag of around $300. Incredibly unlike other pricey myoelectric hands and arms, which utilize expensive custom-built computer systems, the Handy uses the simplicity of a smartphone. An EMG sensor on the wearer's arm sends signals to the smartphone, which processes the signals and then sends a signal back to the hand, telling it which movement to make. In addition, company was able to create the hand in such a way that it only takes one motor to control each finger. Even though the fingers consist of three joints each, one motor located at the base joint is able to operate the entire finger. It is also very customizable in that it can be purchased in varying color options. Also, the fingers are interchangeable, meaning that different fingers can be added on for different situations. Researchers at the University of Montreal state that magnetic nanoparticles can open blood-brain barrier and deliver molecules straight to the brain. This barrier runs inside almost all vessels in the brain and protects it from elements circulating in the blood that may be toxic to the brain. The research is important as currently 98% of therapeutic molecules are also unable to cross the blood-brain barrier. The barrier is temporarily opened at a desired location for approximately two hours by a small elevation of the temperature generated by the nanoparticles when exposed to a radio frequency field, explained Canadian researchers. The tests revealed that this technique is not associated with any inflammation of the brain. This new result could lead to a breakthrough in the way nanoparticles are used in the treatment and diagnosis of brain diseases. Researchers at the University of Illinois at Chicago have created a nanoscale biomicro robot that responds electrically to changes in its environment. The creation is called NERD. The cytorobot is built on a bacterial spore, more specifically an endospore, which is essentially a dormant version of a bacterium. Endospores are strong, tough and exceptionally responsive to liquid water, making them ideal candidates for micromechanical manipulation. In other words, scientists can use a range of naturally occurring functions of these organisms as they respond to their environment to operate minuscule devices. By applying graphene quantum dots on the spore surface and attaching electrodes, various quantum mechanical effects can be integrated. Graphene quantum dots used were configured to take advantage of the controllable transmembrane hydraulic transport, the spore's ability to eject water to act in this case as an electrobiomechanical humidity sensor. Researchers claim that this work promises to lay the foundations for future generations of bio-derived nanobots, biomicro-robotic mechanisms and micromechanical actuation for a wide range of applications. Artificial hand is now able to respond sensitively thanks to muscles made of smart metal wires. German engineers at Saarland University have developed a new technology. It enables the fabrication of flexible and lightweight robot hands for industrial applications and novel prosthetic devices. The muscle fibers are composed of bundles of ultra-fine nickel-titanium alloy wires that are able to tense and flex. The material itself has sensory properties allowing the artificial hand to perform extremely precise movements. Multiple strains of shape memory wire connect the finger joints and act as flexor muscles on the front side of the finger and as extensor muscles on the rear. In order to facilitate rapid movements, the engineers copied the structure of natural human muscles by grouping the very fine wires into bundles to mimic muscle fibers. The bundle can rapidly contract and relax while exerting a high tensile force. The researchers want to continue developing the prototype and improve the way in which it stimulates the human hand. German engineering company Festo have presented two recent bionic creations, 3D printed bionic ants and artificial butterflies. The goal of the project is to create intelligent insects that can work efficiently in factories of the future by adapting to different production requirements. Both models are about the size of a human hand and mimic the cooperative behavior of the real insects by making individual decisions that relate to a common goal. Teamwork allows the ants to complete complex tasks they wouldn't be able to accomplish on their own, like moving large objects. A stereo camera in each ant's head helps it identify its location and objects that can be grabbed with grippers below its chin. Floor sensors also help to get a sense of their surroundings while they use a wireless network to communicate. Researchers from King's College London and Sheffield University created a prototype small mobile robot to help blind people move safely and efficiently. 
The small mobile robot is equipped with sensors to lead the way. A special sleeve on the user's arm then interprets signals sent back from the robot. These vibrations can reveal the size, shape or stiffness of an obstacle. Engineers said that it could also benefit blind people as well as firefighters. For example, they could help firefighters move through burning buildings to find people more easily. Researchers explained that the four-year project has seen the team using the robot in a number of scenarios from a university gym to a smoke-filled cave in Germany. And now they plan to explore how rains and haptic signals could help older people in their homes. That's all for the Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. If you like the content, please subscribe, follow us on social media, leave your comments and share the global conversation. Take care and see you next Monday.